Amazon is learning a tough lesson about artificial intelligence. The company has now abandoned an AI recruiting tool after discovering that the program was biased against women. Tech expert Ryan Eldridge of Nerds on Call joins me now. And Ryan, this new recruiting engine was supposed to identify candidates that Amazon might hire, but it appears this program chose far more men. Yeah, it's kind of garbage in, garbage out, unfortunately. It's, it was basing its decision on 10,000 different resumes, and it was based on um, what hiring practices Amazon was already doing. So there might have already been some gender bias already in the data that was being put in, but what, what happened was the, the system essentially started discounting any time someone had graduated from a female college or a woman's college or had the word women's in their resume, like uh, captain of the women's chess team, for example. But what they found is that it was also going after specific verbs that men okay. engineers would use in their resume that mm -hmm. women wouldn't, like executed and captured, these really aggressive verbal terms. So even though they could take out and say, okay, well, if you graduated from a woman's college, let's go ahead and ignore that. We're not gonna call that something you need to bias on. It was the other things that mm -hmm. the algorithm was finding to, to suss out the, the, this bias. Yeah, so Ryan, though, the technology is only as good, and the AI technology is only as good as its makers, right? And you, they can't right. escape the bias of its makers. So this raises a lot of questions about artificial intelligence and its objectivity. It does. You know, and when you think about what we're doing currently, I, I mean, I, I own three different tech companies, and we hired hundreds of thousands of people uh, over the course of the last decade. And unfortunately, there is bias even in human resource uh, uh, people. Like they may prefer Stanford over Yale, or they may pre prefer a certain coding language over another. Um, they certainly are aware and are capable of of, uh, of looking at a resume and saying, well, Angelina, that's probably a woman, and maybe I should give her more weight or not. And the problem with humans is we don't always articulate specifically what biases we're putting into our hiring practices, whereas an algorithm actually can tell you specifically why mm -hmm. it has taken this person and said they're less valuable than this other person. A lot of times when it comes to hiring, uh, HR managers are kind of going with their gut or they're going with what they think is best, whereas really there may be a bunch of unspoken biases about where they live, their gender, or the schools they went to, and all kinds of things. Yeah, other things they can factor in. Okay, so Ryan, now that this issue has surfaced, how do the companies like Amazon, Google, how do they tackle this problem? Yeah, so, well, with a low unemployment rate, uh, there's not a lot of applicants when you put out a res or when you put out a call for resumes, especially if you're looking in the tech sector where you're looking for very specific skill sets. So what they were trying to do is create a tool that could also not just go through reams of resumes, but could also go out on the internet and find candidates on LinkedIn and other job posting websites. And 55% of human resource managers uh, that were surveyed by careerbuilder.com said they would use some sort of AI system to, mm. to automate their job a little bit. And so this is something that's not gonna go away. We're all gonna start seeing this more and more. And, and it's a little bit frightening to think that there's a computer that's gonna decide whether I get the job or not. Right, but places right. places like Goldman Sachs mm -hmm. and uh, uh, several other companies are already deeply invested in this technology to make their hiring and recruiting more effective. Yeah, all right, uh, Ryan Eldridge, thanks so much for talking to us, appreciate it. You're welcome.